Hi, I'm Lee Copeland, and I've got just two or three quick things to talk to y'all about. I do not think this is going to be terribly long. It should be about three or four minutes. Last week, I read where the Pew Charitable Trust, they have an arm. Those of y'all that listen to NPR know what the Pew Charitable Trust is, but they have a research arm, the Pew Research. And they released a survey of how many of us, how many adult Americans have cell phones, ha have these things, have cell phones. And what they said was astonishing. They said that 90% of all adults in America have cell phones, 42% have a tablet. And important about what I'm going to talk to you today about, 66% had a smartphone that could connect to the internet. Well, the significance today, we know about the technological significance, but for us today, what I want to talk about very briefly is the ethical considerations of so many folks using a cell phone. There are grievances popping up all across the country where uh, uh, the complainant will file a grievance, and the grievance will be something like this. I've been texting the lawyer for three weeks, and I hadn't heard a response. And the lawyer's response is, I don't know how to text. That's just not going to cut it. There's a case where the client kept, in California, kept sending stuff to the lawyer by email document after document. The lawyer keeps complaining he's never gotten it. It's because the lawyer didn't check his spam. So our bar has, uh, is working on rules. How, how do you do this? So what can we do? Well, we can, we can manage the client's expectation, either through an engagement letter or writing or somehow how you're going to communicate with the client so his expectations or her expectations are the same as yours. <clears throat> Our dues as lawyers, we pay $300 a year and $25 to the client security fund. Uh, some of y'all may think that's too much. I'll say a, a plumber and master pipe fitter pays $170 to the state. But at any rate, one of the benefits that we get for that $300 is a free lawyer. In this office, I'm at the bar headquarters, in this office upstairs is Tony McLean's office. He's the general counsel of the bar. He's been here 30 years or so. He has a staff of three lawyers under him, two paralegals. It's a law firm, two paralegals and a staff of four. And what we get, we get a free lawyer to call not once a year. You can call him 100 times a year. Last year, I think they issued 3,400 uh, opinions, informal opinions, about what an ethical violation was or wasn't. So what, what people know, and I'm encouraging you to do it on the front end, not the back end when it becomes a, uh, a grievance or a complaint, call Tony's office. Tell him, look, this is the facts, this is the ethical dilemma I'm kind of seeing myself in. What can I do? And the truth is, if you, if you tell them all of the facts, I don't know if it's a get out of jail free card, but it's pretty darn close. Finally, you know, one of the great things about being your bar president, and I'm very proud to be your bar president, is I get to go to different locations all over the state and speak. And whether I'm speaking to lawyers or non-lawyers, I really, one thing, I may change the speech from time to time, depending on the audience, but one thing with all the audience says I say is this, I think we've got the best profession in the world. I love it, and I love lawyers, and I, whatever crowd it is, I tell them that, and I'll give you for an example. Uh, last month, in like mid-October, at the Supreme Court Library, uh, Supreme Court building, in the rotunda, the big, big rotunda, gorgeous, there was, there was a pro bono celebration. And there were the Chief Justice, a bunch of the justices were there. And what we were there for is to pass out awards to the lawyers in our state who had done 50 hours of pro bono work. And I was thinking to myself as I was waiting to speak, how different we are 
you know, we weren't there to celebrate fourth quarter earnings that were off the charts. We weren't there because we'd sold a billion hamburgers. We were there for the opposite result, or opposite. We were there to reward and give a certificate to somebody who worked for free. And we thought it was great. And the more free time they gave, the better we thought it was. What of it? That's what makes us different. If you look wherever you're from, if you but every town, any city, you look on the school board, there's a lawyer. You look on the Sunday school, who's teaching Sunday school, it's a lawyer. Goodwill, it's a lawyer. Red Cross, it's a lawyer. Every charitable group has lawyers on it. That's who we serve. So that's it. I hope uh, you may have learned something that you didn't know before. Uh, if you can survive the presidential debates, have a good holiday. Thank you.